Hello my fellow adventurers, Kevin here for Living the Grand Adventure. Today I'm at the Moonville Tunnel, which is one of the most haunted sites in Ohio. We're going to take a look at the tunnel, I'm going to walk through it, show you some of the graffiti, give you a little history of it. Uh, happy October guys, in honor of Halloween, I am at the one of the scariest sites supposedly in Ohio, one of the most haunted. This is the one of the entrances, we're going to hike down to the other side and take a look at it. But we're going to walk through it and look at some of the graffiti and like i said while we're doing that i'll give you an overview and some history about the tunnel itself and the area and supposedly the ghost story that's associated with this tunnel in researching the moonville tunnel i was fascinated by its history in 1856 a man by the name of samuel coe gave the marietta and cincinnati railroad permission to construct a rail line through his property. This rail line transported coal and clay from Marietta, Ohio to Cincinnati, Ohio as a cheaper form of transportation than had existed in previous years. Coe, for his part, hoped to use the rail line to ship his own coal and clay for little to no cost. The railroad accepted this because the land was given freely and it was a more direct route than had previously existed. Moonville sprung up near the tunnel and it's thought to be named after the man who ran the town store, Mr. Moon. The community consisted mainly of miners, railroad workers, and their families. At its peak in the 1870s, the town housed roughly 100 people. Moonville consisted of a few houses along the track, a general store that was housed in Coe's larger home, a school, and a saloon. In the 1880s, the rail line was bought by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and the rail traffic actually increased. However, this was short-lived as by the early 1900s, the mines in the area had been tapped out and had begun to close. Moonville declined from then on. The last family residing in the town left in 1947 and all the buildings were gone by 1960. All that remains of the community now is the school's foundation, the tunnel, and a family cemetery. The rail was finally abandoned in 1988 and all the rails were pulled up. Since then it has been converted into a rail trail and there have been several bridges built with more planned in the future. It is primarily used right now as a multi-use trail that is very popular today. And guys, before we walk back through and take another good look at it, go ahead and let you know, this is the entrance. I came from the other side, mainly because I am shooting an actual backpacking trip with this video as well. Uh, that should be up in a couple of weeks. But I want to kind of do this separate for Halloween. It's kind of neat, but I'll show you the entrance a little bit. Right over there, there is a small parking lot that you can park at. Don't park at the Hope Schoolhouse entrance. There are bridges and such that have collapsed. The easiest way to actually, if you just want to come in and view the actual tunnel, is to park at this parking lot. And there is a little bridge right here that they've constructed. Now, like I said, in going over the uh, history, you know, the, you know, all this used to be a uh, railroad. So I think that's kind of neat. There are a number of ghost stories and legends associated with the Moonville Tunnel. I'll cover some of the more popular ones, but for reference in my research, there have been at least 26 verified deaths at or near the Moonville Tunnel. One of the more popular stories involves a brakeman's death. He was walking home after a night of drunken car playing and was moving through the tunnel. After noticing an oncoming train, he was seen frantically swinging his lantern in an attempt to stop the train, but to no avail. He was struck and killed by decapitation. His ghost is said to haunt the tunnel and can be seen swinging his lantern even today. The railroad even installed a signal near the tunnel in 1981 as engineers would commonly perform emergency braking near Moonville due to the light. They were told to ignore any lanterns and only pay attention to the signal. Another unusual death was the one of Charles Ferguson. He was waiting across the tracks and proceeded to do so once the train had passed. 
Unfortunately, he was struck and killed when the second half of the train had come through. It had become decoupled somehow, and the man never saw or heard it and died instantly. Another brakeman's death occurred during a winter in the late 1890s. It is said the brakeman was on top of the train, manning the rear brakes. It was very cold at night, and to stay warm he had been drinking alcohol. Being inebriated, he lost his bearing and fell under the train. The legend states he too was decapitated, but with research I found he actually died from blood loss to his leg being nearly severed near the hip. His ghost is said to haunt near and in the tunnel as well. The last death occurred in 1986 when a 10 year old girl was trying to cross the trestle and bridge that runs over Ratku Creek just before the tunnel. She was struck and killed by a CSX train. Her ghost was said to be seen crossing that bridge up until the day it collapsed and maybe she will return when they rebuild the bridge in the future. I hope you like a good ghost story in the middle of October. Great way to celebrate Halloween and just enjoy the season, if you will. If you guys have liked the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. That'll let me know if you want to see more uh, videos concerning maybe history here in Ohio or different areas. And maybe I'll be able to go out and do a little bit more paranormal exploring. This was kind of neat to learn about and share with you guys. If you guys like the channel and have enjoyed the videos that we're doing, hit the subscription button as well as that notification bell so you get notified when new videos do come out. If you have any questions or any comments about the uh, video or anything we're doing here at the channel, go ahead and hit that up down below the comment section. I'll get back to you as fast as possible with that. And go ahead and share the video. Everybody likes a good ghost tale in the middle of October. But guys, I'll go ahead and get back to my hike, get over here to site so I can get set up for the night and get me a fire going. Always remember to live your grand adventure the fullest. I will see you on the trail in the next video. Until then, guys, take care.